Uh, good morning everyone, I'm at Loudon's in Nottinghamshire which is a motorhome dealer, just waiting for mine to be repaired actually. But there's been loads of questions about payload on the motorhome forums that I'm on this week. So I'm just going to do a video, bear with me, I've got my dog with me. Um, so it might be a bit juddery, but payload, how much weight can you carry? Um, they normally include the weight of the driver and probably half a tank of fuel and half a tank of water sometimes in the calculation. Everything else is your payload, passengers, bikes, bike racks, solar panels, everything you put on your vehicle that isn't as standard with it is extra. It all needs calculating. Your full tank of water, your tank of waste, if you put a spare wheel in, your awning, your tents, your chairs, all this is your payload. So some of the brand new motorhomes are giving about two to three hundred kilos in payload, which is an absolute joke. And they are not telling you this when they're selling them to you. I'm just going to show you some of these. These are second hand. These have got quite good payloads. But I'll just go across the windscreen so you can see. Bernster. Three five hundred kilo chassis. Payload. 505. 505 that's not bad um, at all chasson there you go the 64 it's a three and a half ton again payload 508 again that's not bad so when they try and keep them under this three and a half ton that you normally start struggling here we go here's one over three and a half ton of swift 3650 that's what mine is payload 458 now bear in mind that Swift have brought most of their payloads down to 3500. Mine's a 454 Swift. They've brought that down this year to a 3500. So if you take that extra 150 off that 450, that's 300 payload or thereabouts. Just bear that in mind when you're buying. When you're at this motor show, that's on this week and they're trying to sell you these things and you're trying to get one under three and a half ton, because you're worried about your driving license, you must check the payload, it's absolutely critical. Bailey Approach, it's a 3850 and it's got 783 kilos of payload. So there you go, you see, if you're over three and a half ton, you're gonna get loads of payload. Problem is, most people don't want that. They don't want a motorhome over three and a half ton. They worry about the driving license and all that stuff that goes with it. Here's a Besca. Um, it's a three and a half ton, this one. That's got quite a big payload, look, 510. But that's the E412. So let's have a look at it. That, and that's why, look, it's the shorter uh, Besca. So it's not... Um, got as much stuff in it as the rest so it can obviously afford a bigger payload um, it's not only Swift that are doing it there's loads of them so just bear it in mind please look at the payload please consider I mean I weigh 70 kilos I'm mid to light my wife weighs 50 you get the four people in there if they weigh nearer 100 you ain't got no payload left please bear it in mind it's critical Bear in mind your layout and bear in mind your payload. They're probably the two most important things you'll ever need to know. Sorry if I've bored you.